Depending on where you're located and what drafting standards you have to use, you may want to set up a drafting standard for your drawing views. Now, it's important to understand that this has to be set up prior to the creation of your base and projected views. There's no way to apply a drafting standard to views that have already been generated after the fact. Now here we can look at how this drawing has been set up. It's using third angle projection, which is common in North American standards like ANSI. You could use first angle projection for European standards like ISO or DIN. The shaded quality has actually been set quite low, and the reason to do that is to make it easier on the computer to generate those shaded previews. If we dial up the DPI value of the shaded view quality, of course we'll get a better image, but it will take longer to generate those views and to automatically update any views should the underlying model geometry change. If for any reason the model becomes too large to maintain whatever DPI value you've selected, AutoCAD will automatically degrade down to the next lower DPI setting until it can achieve the performance that it needs. Finally, if you're importing inventor geometry, you can actually control the thread style representation from a full circular thread to a more traditional partial circular or like a normal tap standard you would see in an ANSI national. These are the controls you have available to you. It's very easy to make the changes. You simply locate them here from the ribbon. Go down to the drawing views tab here and select right there for your drafting standard. Set that up and then any drawing views you generate from here on out will be subject to that standard and you'll be able to automatically generate drawing views that look as they should based on the drawing standards you have to adhere to.